HIV pleads guilty to sex crimes involving two teenage boys, but instead of decades behind bars, she'll spend only months, and one mother is outraged. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. And I'm Mike Dardis. That mother now fears for her son's health. WLWT News 5's Allison Montoya live right now outside the Hamilton County Courthouse with more Allison. Well, Mike and Sheree, good evening to you. And by pleading guilty here earlier today at the Hamilton County Courthouse, this 32-year-old woman who tested positive for HIV will get out of prison in just one year. And, of course, we talked to one of the mothers of the victim. She tells us that she feels betrayed by both the person she considered a friend as well as the entire court system. As we protect the identity of the victims in this case, the mother of one teen is speaking out. She says she once thought of 32-year-old Candace Morris as a friend. The kids called her Annie. She was like a aunt. But that quickly changed after the family's New Year's Eve party. We were all partying. Me and my mate fell asleep. And she was up with the kids. So after we fell asleep, it was party for her. A party the mother says involved her son, nephew, booze, drugs, and sex with a woman who tested positive for HIV. The mother says the boys stepped forward the next day and the family called the cops to report what happened. Documents show Morris was charged with six counts of unlawful sexual conduct with a minor and pled guilty to three. As for the penalty, one year behind bars, the mother says it's just as shocking as what took place in their Price Hill home. I just wish she got more time. That year is not justified. Justice was not served. It was not. Morris was able to avoid 30 years behind bars in court by pleading guilty. And although one mother wanted a harsher penalty, she says she'll leave that up to a higher power. The words I have for Candy is, God's going to get you. God have a plan for her. And as for the two teen boys, I'm told they're doing well right now. They're enrolled in school. They're going to sports. And as far as being tested for HIV, they've gone to a couple tests. So far, that those tests have come back negative. Reporting live from downtown, Allison Montoya, WLWT News 5.